Hello and welcome to Bernadette TV, online TV to help you be the best you can be in your business and your life. And today we're talking about the power of decision. If you're a regular viewer of Bernadette TV, you may have noticed that you've been seeing a little bit less of me recently. And yes, it's true, over the past four months, I've lost more than 35 pounds. And many people have been asking me questions about what I do and what diet I'm on and what's the secret. And I wanna share with you something which uh, might surprise you, but has absolutely been the key to this weight loss journey that I'm on. So first of all, I had some inspiration here in the shape of my sister, Tina, because a couple of years ago, she lost over 113 pounds um, over the course of the year. And in fact, I did a special video where she was sharing points of her journey. And if you want to see that, we'll include a link to it below this video. But everything shifted for me when I made a decision. I realized that for 30 years, I had been defining myself as someone who struggled with her weight. I'd been carrying around this weight problem. And to be honest, it was the weight problem that was weighing me down much more than the actual weight. The weight on my body just meant I needed bigger clothes. It was the weight problem, the thinking about it, the struggle, the frustration, the disappointment, the um, yo-yo up and down, the effect on my self-esteem. That was what was really costing me. And I had an insight earlier this year where I realized 30 years, 30 years of effort and struggle and being miserable about it, and I decided to free myself. You know, even murderers get out after 25 years, and I just made a decision. I was just done, so done with having a weight problem, and that I was just going to evolve right past it. And in that decision, everything changed for me. So I, having made that decision, I used to struggle because I thought I had two options. I thought I had to... Um, stay on a diet all the time and I could be the size I wanted or I could eat the food I wanted but then I just had to accept that I was going to be bigger than I really wanted and having made that decision suddenly a new way opened up in front of me and I now I love my grub <laughs> and I could not um, be on an eating plan that I didn't get tremendous pleasure from but I have a fantastic menu plan and I've worked out the exercise and I still get to have a life and I still get to have my glass of red wine and, um, and it's just working and the weight has been falling off. So this has been a huge learning experience to me because this is about so much more than losing weight. For me, this is about the process of transformation. So I'm here today to say to you, if there is something in your life that you've been telling yourself that you wanted but you don't have it yet, I'm gonna say to you, you haven't made the decision. The moment you make the decision to have that thing, you will start the process. Now, that doesn't mean that it's going to be like a magic wand and everything transform overnight. You can see I'm in the midst of this journey. I have more weight to lose, but I can tell you this. Energetically, the weight is already gone. It's taken my body time to catch up with the decision I've already made, and I don't know whether that's going to take months. I don't even know whether it's going to take years. Honestly, I don't care how long it takes because I know it's going to happen. I know it's already happened. I'm just waiting for the results to show up. So if there's something that you want in life, there's something you've been telling yourself that you've been after for a long time and you've been in the same place that I was with my weight, getting frustrated, struggling, um, getting disappointed, today is an opportunity for you once and for all to make a decision. You, you, can, you can choose to be done with the struggle and you can choose to go, uh, go for and commit to the thing that you said that you wanted. So it sounds really easy, doesn't it? And you might be thinking, well, why don't more people make the decision? Or you may be saying right now, Bernadette, you don't understand. I have made the decision. So I want to share with you some of the things that I've noticed about before the decision and after the decision. So before I made the decision, any time I was attempting to lose weight, I, I encountered obstacles rather than opportunities. So things like going on holiday with my sons. I would be out with them and I'd say, oh, it's just this once I'm on holiday. I'll have a treat. After I made the decision, that just stopped happening altogether and suddenly I saw opportunities where I used to see obstacles. So for example, we went on holiday at Easter 
and we were away for two weeks and the first thing I noticed when I got to our apartment was that there was a weighing scales there. I was like, oh great, this will help me stay on track. I started noticing the meals that were served at the resort that would be fully in line with the eating plan that I'm on. And it was suddenly I could see opportunities where previously I had seen obstacles. So if you're still seeing a lot of obstacles, just take that as feedback. You haven't made the decision yet. The other thing that happens before the decision is there's a lot of bargaining. That, that thinking of, oh, I can get away with it just this once, or that won't hurt, or you know, I'll start tomorrow. After I made the decision, that just didn't happen. I mean, I, there's no wagon for me to fall off because I'm not on a wagon. I've committed to putting this weight problem behind me once and for all, and it is behind me, and I'm, I'm moving in a new direction. So think about really examine have you really made the decision now the final thing I want to say to you is where people are reluctant to make the decision or they'll say well I have made the decision but they haven't really is that they don't want to risk disappointment and if this has been a, if the area that you're thinking of, of has been a chronic area of struggle for you you probably have a lot of disappointments a lot of hurt a lot of times that you um, maybe got excitement that it was working and then experienced the disappointment of it not working. And that kind of, um, I'll try it and see, that's how you also know that you haven't made the decision yet. Because after you've made the decision, there is no try, there is only do. It's going to happen. Once you've made the decision, it's now about how to follow through and align with that decision. So um, I wanted to share this with you for quite a while now because I have been learning so much of this journey and it, it's really been a stretch for me to show up and share it with you today because I was worried that I'd invite some trolling and some criticism about my body. But you know what? When it comes down to transforming an area of your life that's really important to you, this stuff is too important to keep to myself. So yes, I'm taking a risk in putting this out there and sharing it with you. But I honestly, from my heart, hope that I've inspired you to step up in the area of your life where you may have been struggling. Relationships, money, maybe for you it was weight too. Who knows? And I just want to share with you what I've learned on this journey. So thank you for so much for giving me the opportunity to be here and be this vulnerable with you. Love to know how this episode has impacted you. Please leave your comments in the box below. And I can't wait to see you on the next episode of Bernadette TV.